to episode 8 of Short Thoughts from a Short Guy. I title this one, Spiritual Care. And how are you doing taking care of yourself spiritually right now? Or how are you doing growing closer to God during all seasons of life? And these two questions would be great at any point, right? But especially now, during this COVID-19 quarantine epidemic thing that we're dealing with, it, it can be challenging to take care of ourselves spiritually. It can just feel like we just need to survive and just get through this season. But I don't think that's true. And so what I came up with here is just a short strategy or battle plan on how we can take care of ourselves spiritually. And I like to do this for myself. It gives me a goal or a direction. And what every spiritual battle plan should incorporate is Bible verses, prayers, and goals. And so I'm just going to go through a quick one here just to show you what I've done for myself and what you can do for yourself very simply just to take care of yourself spiritually. First of all, the title of this battle plan, this battle strategy for me would be spiritual training. We're talking about spiritual care, so I thought that'd be a good title for my actual battle plan. And so first Bible verse would be 1 Timothy 4, 7 to 8. And it says, have nothing to do with godless myths or old wives' tales. Rather, train yourself to be godly. For physical training is of some value, but godness has value for all things, holding promise for both the present life and the life to come. So this Bible passage simply teaches me that I need to train spiritually. Physical training is good and I need to stay in good shape, but I need to find a way to grow spiritually. If not, I'm not growing. I'm going the opposite direction and it's not going to help me. And what's going to end up happening is I'm going to fall into these bad and poor wisdom of this world. These godless myths and these old wives tales are going to start being attractive to me because I'm going to see them and not realize what I really have in the Bible in my spiritual training and getting closer to God. The second Bible verse I'd use, Philippians 2, 12 to 16. It says, Therefore, my dear friends, as you've always obeyed, not only in my presence, but now much more in my absence, continue to work out your salvation with fear and trembling. For it is God who works in you to will and act according to fulfill his good purpose. Do everything without grumbling or arguing, so that you may become blameless and pure children of God without fault in a warped and crooked generation. Then you will shine like stars among them in the sky as you hold firmly to the word of life. Guys, this passage challenges me and helps me to consider my salvation, to work it out with fear and trembling, to realize that God is working in me and that by allowing God to work in me, I can grow spiritually, I can train spiritually, I can get stronger spiritually. But if I'm not, then I'm going to become a grumbler and a complainer. And you know what that's like. Some of you are like this. Some of you see negative things everywhere and just complain and grumble. Well, that wasn't done right, or that's wrong, or that's stupid. You know, and I've been there too, but that doesn't help us grow. That hurts us spiritually. It drains us spiritually. We get all kind of just stuck in the weeds and we can't get out of it. And the vines are growing over us and we can't be grumblers, complainers because we have to be people that pursue our salvation with God and grow in that. And so there's the two Bible verses I do. And then the prayer list I'd come up with for this, this spiritual battle plan to take care of myself spiritually. First of all, the first prayer, for me to see spiritual training to be the most valuable use of my time. To ask God for me to really have my mind open up to this, to believe it. Secondly, for God to give me opportunities to train spiritually. That's a dangerous prayer. Yes, I know, because he will give me opportunities. But that's why the third prayer comes in here. For me to make the most of the opportunities to grow and to not shy away from it. And I think I'll be rewarded for that by growing spiritually, by feeling stronger and closer to God. So I got my prayer requests down. I got my scriptures down. Now I need some goals, something that I can focus on to really feel good about. You know, to find a challenge or something I can train and start going after it. That would be one of my goals. And in this case, what I thought would be to pray significantly for a whole week, more than I normally do. So every day, pray more than I normally would. And so say I pray a half an hour every day, what I would say is to actually pray for an hour a day for seven days straight. Don't make it open-ended because then it becomes too challenging to stick with it. But have an ending to this these goals that you're setting for yourself. And, you know, I pray an hour a day. It doesn't have to be an hour straight. It could be 30 minutes and then 10 minutes and 10 minutes and 10 minutes. But this goal will help me have a focus on spiritual training because prayer will help you spiritually train, right? And then what I want to do is share my victory from that week with at least a couple people, if not more. So I would share it with Mike Kwasniewski and maybe my Delta team. He's like, guys, I chose to pray more for a whole week straight and I did it and here's how I grew and here's how I feel. Because having these goals and then being able to share them is super important. But you see, by taking on challenges and growth, even during the most challenging of times, 
we're able to spiritually train and we're able to take care of ourselves spiritually and feel closer to God and feel more equipped for this life. And you're setting yourself up for success that way. If not, you're you're just hoping you can get by spiritually. More than likely, you're not just going to get by. You're going to struggle and it's going to be harder and harder. And so guys, let's come up with a great spiritual care plan that we can implement into our lives and just come up with some scriptures, some prayers, and some goals, and then share them with people after you're successful and share with them where you weren't successful. Guys, thank you for listening to me. This has been Short Thoughts from a Short Guy. See you next week. Mm-hmm.